So after just after just delivering a load of four inch gravel, four inch clean drainage for the percolation area in the lawn job we're on. Hopefully that'll be near nearly enough. Probably about four-ish ton there, roughly four to five ton maybe. Four-ish ton I think. So I'm going to get that down in round the pipes and also got <coughs> this membrane which is specifically designed to stop stop mud and stop uh, any type of clays or muds or dirt getting through so that this will be put across the stone to to keep it clean they'll allow allows a certain amount of water but it won't allow the, the mud to get through so got that as well and we're going to put that out across the stone to keep it all clean ensure that the stone never gets contaminated and pretty much ruins it because it's beyond the point of putting in clean stone so i'm going to get at that now i stole this about three years ago it's been in the in the shed all winter it needs badly needs a wash so I'm going to give it a wash now and repair some lights that's that the cables have corroded out and broke off we'll do that now and give it a bit of a wash it's about to be put on this here little box uh, to move some topside and some drainage stone, some gravel. Already repaired one light. I just repair these other ones and give it a wash. This is a small follow-up on the International B275 that I was cleaning up. We're using it here for obviously for using to clear the pipe and cleaned up well but this is also the tractor that is having trouble with the glow plugs and it's starting so I'm going, to, I'm going to install a set of new plugs in it I'll probably show that in another video um, anybody who has one of these would understand the glow plugs in them are a series system heated with this switch and they have a little glow plug indicator here which is actually is actually a, an actual heated coil itself so you can put your hand on this and you feel it getting hot and that's part of the circuit and if any one of the glow plugs the four cylinders go or this goes the entire glow plugs won't work so they all have to be working it's not like a parallel system like the, the like the newer ones they're not as efficient but it works and i just wanted to put the original ones back in it to keep it original so keep the whole thing right we had this empty today and it wasn't actually here and discovered a couple of problems so number one is this septic tank this uh exit sorry from the from the tank is is too long and it's taking up probably like heavier material from the bottom of the tank and taking it out into the sump so we're gonna have to shorten that pipe and in here he cleaned this out also and we also have to shorten the uh, the pipe coming out of it so this pipe he reckons probably should be about half or even a wee bit less just give it a little swing and see what she does <laughs> good this is uh, to get the alternator to start charging I know it's not original but it's a lot better than the original dyno charging here now if I knock off the alternator it's still the 
continue to show me a charge but it's not actually charging the battery this needs to be on to allow it to charge the battery in the wheel barrow anyway it's actually pretty late at the front with that load on the 
get some pipes ready here first anyway, so. Next plan here is to add these long 90 degree bends to these percolation pipes so that we can get them up to the ground surface. So I'm just going to go down here, let's have a little look. So that is going to go in there and it's going to come up like that. It's going to be stoning underneath it and the idea is that we leave a point where we can always access. We can put a little um, a little cap on the top of this and we'll always be able to access it. It's just a pity about the angle, but I was thinking that I might actually go a little bit further with this since I have extra pipe. Yeah. No joiner though. So I was thinking I might just go past the tree, but maybe I as well stay where I am because some trees are probably going to cause problems no matter what happens. Possibly not if I wanted a bit of an angle out here, but... We'll see. We'll walk this one out now. <laughs> This is some percolation pipe that's in the ground for allowing the water to get out of the pipe. There's a little bit of dirt in it. But these holes are pretty much an 8mm drill bit. Exactly. This is normal sewerage pipe, but has no holes. This stuff's considerably, considerably a lot more expensive than this. And I only need a couple of little bits to extend my pipes so these here I'm going to drill this the same as this one is just to get me away put a couple of joiners on them and they're more than adequate for doing exactly the same job so as you can see just drill that it's exactly the same as this. So if you had time you could do lengths of these pipes with a drill but most people don't so they just pay for it but it's actually I'm not sure the difference in price but I know it's a lot more expensive. So that's these are just going to do my job perfect just to get me away for little extensions. That's as simple as that is.
out of here today. I'm just leveling out a little bit of stone here. We'll put this drainage in, this four inch drainage. Getting it into the hole. We're gonna cover it with some geotextile membrane for to stop the, the dirt and the clay getting down in through it and ruining, ruining the stone. Too much stone in here, but it's not a problem. Pipes need to use the shovel, but this here is this is a lot easier than a shovel. So I am just using this to roughly put it in. I'll have to get out again with the shovel and do a little bit around the pipe. And you just don't know when you can push a, a, a larger stone in against the pipe and break it. So. So I'm going to <coughs> change the buckets, give it a little bit of a packing in. Well, now that's all done, I'm going to put the membrane across and start filling the hole back in. So the bucket is changed. Bigger bucket, more soft area is better chance of packing it in. 
Washing up liquid here now to just join up the pipes. Simple as. this pipe it's ready to taper on this one so this one shouldn't be too bad those could be famous last words So we just cut up some membrane, put it, over the, put it over the stone, the stone is underneath that, and the pipe is underneath the stone. A common mistake people make here is, you can see here, there's only 
a very, very small amount of stone on top of the pipe. People sometimes fill the entire trench up with stone. You're actually not gaining anything by that. It's a waste of stone. It also causes you problems with keeping grass growing if the weather gets dry, there's no moisture left in the soil. So you only need a small amount of stone across the pipe. The majority of your stone should be underneath your pipe. That's where your water goes down. We all know water can't run up, go uphill, so that's the most important place for it to go. So I'm just gonna get some of this now, some more of it, and I'm gonna put it in this other hole, which is pretty much ready for, to be filled in as well. So I'll have to clean that out, but let's get this bit done first, so that I can walk here and that's it. So it's good to be see the holes get filled back in. Good to be at that point. Pack this in a little bit first. Oh, just 
upgrading this area up a little bit now.
here I'm filling this up, great and loud. And that done, I will be able to clear out the rest of the hole and hopefully get the pipe in, get it in, and get it moved on to the next one. I'm going to put some stone in here now, put the membrane across the stone and fill it in. And that's another one done. Made good prog progress today. One pipe's in. Second pipe in. And the ground's roughly graded off, just, just roughly. There's a topside layer to go on top of this anyway, and it will be, I will grade it off again before I put the topside on it, just to clean it all up. I'll fill this hopefully tomorrow. And then I can start prepping to finish graded. Bit of grass seed and job's done.